guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uncouple tractor and a trailer. Uh, I got already this unit, this is the unit we're gonna work on, that's 3741 with this trailer 3761. I have it already positioned where I want to. Every time you're uncoupling, make sure that you have a tractor and a trailer position in a straight line, never uncouple in the angle. And the most important thing for uncoupling is this. Make sure that a surface where you're dropping a trailer can support the weight of this trailer. Right now, the weight of the trailer sits on eight big tires, so it's nicely spread it around. But once you drop it, the whole weight is transferred only to those steel plates about a 12 by 12 inches. That asphalt may not be strong enough to hold this weight. You see here at school, we have this patch of concrete, this strip of concrete, that if you look down over there, this is how we drop our trailers when we drop them to avoid damage to our pavement. So this is when the trailer is coming down right over here, right on this pavement over here. Before I do it though, I want to perform another thing that some people don't understand. Sometimes you come in when uncoupling, you try to pull on this arm and it wouldn't budge at all. And it's happening because you have the pressure on the locking jaws. The tractor is trying to go forward, but the trailer is parked. For that reason, that arm will never slide out for a safety it is held in a position. I have to release the pressure from the locking jaws. How am I gonna do it? I will start the engine, release tractor brakes on a tractor, and put it on the reverse. While tractor is pushing on a trailer, I will set those brakes. This way it will eliminate pressure from my jaws. So let's do this now. So first I will perform a safe start. So now I am ready to uncouple this tractor and a trailer. I released the pressure from a locking jaw, so it should go easy now. To remember it better, we teach you guys about using LAPD acronym, L landing gear down. That's what I'm gonna do right now. When I'm putting my landing gear, uh, landing gear down, I'm looking at the both sides. You have to make sure that both legs are coming down. Drivers tend to look on the driver's side. Makes for a bad day. Always lower them. Both. Once we down to the ground, if it was a loaded trailer, I would give it a couple cranks still going down, which would lift some of the weight from a fifth wheel, make it easier to uncouple. But in my case, I got an empty trailer. I want to do opposite. I want this trailer to go slightly down to the ground when I uncouple. It will make it easier for the next guy to couple. So I give it a couple turns back. Just to leave it about a half an inch of the, of this uh, space underneath my leg. And I will take my crank and leave it hanging loose. Don't put it in the cradle. Sometimes it gets jammed over there when you drop the trailer. Just hang it loose. That's fine like this. It's going nowhere. That's your L, landing gear down. Now A, 
Air line and electric line disconnected. I'm going to disconnect my air lines and electrical cord and store them in the dummy couplers. We don't want dirt and water to get into them. How do we store them? 90 degrees to dummy coupler and turn. 90 degrees to dummy coupler and turn. There it is. And hang the cord down like this. Sometimes if you don't have dummy couplers, it's important to keep the air supply clean. Sometimes you may lock them a little bit like this together. It's not gonna go fully, but at least it prevents water from getting in there. So that's your A, airline and electrical cord disconnected. Now P, pull release handle. Keep your foot away from between the, between the tires because if the tractor moves, you don't want it to run on your feet. There are different types of fifth wheel. Sometimes you have to lift it up, out and up, front, back and the other one. Sometimes you just pull it straight. This one is a Volvo. This one works, I gotta move it front pull it out and I believe front again front pull it out and front again to lock it now that releases my locking jaws I'm ready to pull in L A P D L landing gear down A airline electrical landing disconnected P pull release arm D as you will see as Martin gonna have on a video I'm gonna move just slightly forward. And D is, I will deflate the air suspension to gently put this trailer on the ground. So let's me do it right now. as you guys can see what I did is I pulled slightly out then lower my suspension they pulled just to then I pulled just to clear the fifth wheel and I stopped with my rear axle and my frame still underneath the trailer why do we do this because if something goes wrong over there with the support with the landing gear or pavement doesn't hold the trailer it will collapse still on your tractor and you can recover it so we never pull 100% clear. You should stop with your tractor still underneath the trailer, get out, take a look, and everything looks okay. If there's no issues, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put, pull my tractor clear, clear and reinflate suspension. And that's your coupling. <laughs>